you know, wingman. <laughs> so I sat around and, and put them in a the corner and let them enjoy their night. The next night, uh, I could hear Marcus White calling my name and I turned around and there was my father. Now at this point, three things crossed my mind. One, my parents were trying to bring the matchmaking festival back to what it was in the early 1900s where families courted each other instead of the individuals. <laughs> Um, two, they were trying to bring a bit of a mafia element to it. You fuck with her, you fuck with the family. Um, or three, they were trying to do what normal Irish people ca can't do, say they love you, instead they show you. So I'm going with three of them. Um, so, we, um, we, after that, I, that night, that Saturday night actually, there was a lot of people there and they kept coming up to me congratulations we yeah, have what an amazing event it was and that i've done it so well and would um would it, next year they want to buy a weekend ticket and they weren't going for one night and i mean i had absolutely nothing to do with the organization <laughs> I, I was guilty by sexual orientation so they all thought that i was i, I just knew then and there that if i ever did decide to arrange a, a, a gay or lesbian event in north care that i would have the support of the 400 population to get normal which is great <laughs> Um, and on a more serious note, um, cleaning the church, all my friends kind of take the piss out of me for cleaning the church because of, I think, of who I am and, and my sexual orientation. But the one thing about Kilfenora and about it, the small community is when the priest came to me to ask me to clean the church, he didn't see a non mass whore and he didn't see a lesbian. He saw Orla Vaughan, who's involved in everything in the community, who helps out all the time and who always is willing to fill a gap. And in the same breath, when I said yes to the parish priest, I didn't see an organization that condemns me as a human being. I saw a man surrounded by elderly women who struggled to do this job week in, week out of keeping this church clean voluntarily. And, and that got me thinking about the different things and about why I love being a Kilfenora, if I'm the bright light that people tell me I am, why I want to be there. And I was thinking about earlier this year, about the 200,000 people who took to the streets in Paris. They didn't take to the streets in Paris to, to protest that men, women, and children were being murdered in Syria. They took to the streets in Paris to protest about same-sex relationships. 200,000 people took to the streets of the city of love to protest love. And then every day I look at horror at what Putin is doing in Russia. Russia. And I see more and more, each time we get more feeds about these laws that he's bringing in, it, it sounds more each day like what Hitler did to the Jews. Every single day. And then I think about Kilfenora, and I think about the church that needs to be cleaned every week. And I think about Clare, and I think about North Clare, and I think about the village that is Kilfenora, and I think about my community. And I look at the apparently cosmopolitan areas that are Paris and Russia and all these different things, and I think, you know what? being just more or less fine in these new areas. Thanks very much.